A secret unearthed. It does exist. A quest undertaken. Are we going into battle? There's something underneath that sand. An ancient curse. You must not read from the book! Reawakened. <laughs> Unleashed the creature that we have feared for more than 3,000 years. The network premiere of The Mummy, Christmas Eve at 5 past 8, only on BBC One. We are in serious trouble. Years back, Andy and I did a series together. He was the star. So, what have you been up to, man? <laughs> are these yours? You've still got this offer from the fan club, being the star celebrity on their fan cruise. Andy Van Allen is on the boat. <laughs> The worst thing about fame is when it goes, it takes your dignity with it. It is deeply disturbing that the only thing in your lives is a television show that finished over 20 years ago. Rob Brydon and Steve Coogan in Cruise of the Gods, tomorrow at 9 on BBC Two. Just before the film Family Business, a look at the weather on BBC One. Here's Helen Willits. Hello and welcome to Weatherview, our daily look at weather elsewhere around the globe. Now this time I'm going to start down under in Australia where of course the big news is the drought and unfortunately that is continuing. Mind you, in northern and western territories now we have seen quite a few showers around, storm clouds here brewing on the satellite picture. But as I say, the main story has been the drought and with the heat wave arriving a month early really for most, of course we're in the height of summer now, that's intensified the rainfall deficiencies with a lot of evaporation taking place. And 2002 is looking, looking set to become one of the hottest on records. Of course, globally it has been the second warmest, just being beaten by 1998. No good news, therefore, except one or two showers perhaps drifting up towards Brisbane, but for most, high pressure in southern counties will maintain the dry spell and the pretty hot spell as well. Temperatures have exceeded the average in southern Australia by about 10 degrees in recent days, record-breaking heat in places, and that heat over the plateau, as you can see through Monday, Tuesday, is likely to continue. Here in the UK, after a rather cold snap last week and into the start of the weekend, that cold air has been replaced by the mild air, the transition, of course, meaning a lot of foggy weather and a lot of rain as well but temperatures at Great Malvern reached 13 degrees well above the December average and it's set to remain very mild in the coming few nights no lower than three or four degrees tonight in the glens of Scotland and the valleys of northeast England where there could also be some frost exceptionally mild in the southwest and we see little frost in the next three or four nights because we keep our winds coming in off the Atlantic that's south or southwesterly wind and often pretty strong winds too and they're blowing in a lot of cloud and weather fronts here so that's more rain. There's yesterday's rain and here's the next batch brewing up in the Atlantic already starting to move into the southwest. After Saturday night's rain, of course, we've still got the, le the legacy here of the rain at around 60 flood warnings across England. More rain to come, as I say. The flood line 08459 Now ahead of that rain, a bit of fog is going to be a problem if you're travelling. Quite dense fog patches in places, but that rain and strengthening wind should sweep that away, although it'll stay foggy around the coast and on the hills. And it's pretty wet, as you can see, by the end of the night. So for all of us, it looks like a rather grey start to the Christmas week. A lot of heavy rain, particularly in northern and western areas. It may briefly ease off in southern counties of England and Wales around late morning onwards for a time, but not for long, because we'll see more rain sweep back in as we head into the afternoon but for northern and western areas really it's on and off through the day it only dries up in northern Ireland after dark and into the evening now it'll be windy as well strong to gale force winds around the coast severe gales in the northeast but one thing it will be is mild then as we go through the rest of the week we'll see a succession of low pressures brushing into mostly southern counties of England but then by Boxing Day it looks like we've got another deep blow across us so the Met Office are concerned because one batch of rain after another means that the flood risk will be heightened in the run-up to Christmas not quite so wet on Tuesday, but certainly a fair number of showers around and wet weather still lingering in the north. Bye-bye. Christmas is a time for warmth and good cheer. Merry Christmas. A time to share stories. The death of Sir Charles Baskerville was no fairy tale, Mr. Holmes. A time to solve mysteries. Baskerville Hall, sir. You know the story of the hound. I don't believe in such nonsense. This Boxing Day on BBC One, a timeless classic becomes a terrifying thriller. He was running until he burst his heart and fell dead upon his face. The hound. The hound. <laughs> 
Good God, Holmes, are you mad? You must not go out alone. Go back. Go straight back to London. I don't like it, Holmes. You've never seen such a vicious attack. And what does Mr. Sherlock Holmes make of it all? Refined, cold-blooded, deliberate murder. Richard Roxburgh, Ian Hart, John Nettles and Richard E. Grant star in The Hound of the Baskervilles. It's coming. Boxing Day at 9 on BBC One. This has better be good, Mr. Holmes. It's time to test the nation on the big stories of 2002. Where were the last Winter Olympics held? It was France. Like Fassi, wasn't it? No, oh, she got me in that. Oh, that was it, yeah. Who won this year's Booker Prize? What category? Isn't that Thanks very popular, Life of Pie. Picture wits against friends and family in the ultimate end-of-year challenge.